This is Rock Slapping Champions. Player 1, playing Alarak. We have Dragonfire. And player 2, playing Nova. We have Nahual Khan. So let's have a look at the masteries while the players get set up. Alarak is a level 253 ascension player, and he has gone from 3 points of the unit's attack speed, 3 points into the power me, and 22 8 split into the overcharge chrono boost mastery here. And he's gone for the Shadow of Death Prestige. Now, this is pretty much the optimized fix here. I Nowadays, I normally go straight for the 30 points into the overcharge mastery. I find that aggressive overcharges are a little bit better because the 22 8 split is pretty much the minimal cost, the, the minimal allocation that you need to completely clear your rock. So I normally go now for the full overcharge mastery, but both is fine. Nova has gone into a complete ragtag of selections here. 21, 7 split, 14, 13 split, 19, 8 split. So pretty sure Nova has absolutely... Do I have an idea what they're doing? I don't think they do, because... Yeah, usually what you'd want to do here, you'd want to go to your airstrike cost reduction so you can get really good value on your airstrikes. Over here, you'd probably want to do your primary ability improvement instead of the unit's attack speed. And you probably want to also go for maybe about a 20-10 split or 25-10 split. So this is pretty much the better choice here for Nova. But the first artifact truck is already in position and is saving the construct. Nova is building a barracks and an engineering bay on the ramp here. I'm not really sure why she's building it over here because they still have not actually scouted the map to see what is the order of the objectives. So what you can do on this mission is you can move your truck over here to see if there is a construct. If there is a construct then it means that this is going to be the third objective area, meaning that this is going to be the second objective area, which means the first set of tankways will be spawning up this ramp here. But Alrak has already used his mama ship, and he's going to use his mama ship to start clearing some of the units here. This thing has actually a lot of HP. It has 1000 HP, 1000 shield, and we can start clearing out some of these enemy units in this spot here. So there's a truck here, artifact truck, and he's going to draw us aggro of some of these zealots. And now, the zealot is going to end up finally dying, and Alrak will start focusing down this construct. So this construct is going to go down Nova is producing a factory right now and Nova will be pushing in over here and leaving the attack wave for Alrak to deal with. So Alrak is going to go and deal with this attack wave. Nova already in position and the we have two artifact trucks are moving into here but one artifact truck is going to end up going down because Nova is just auto attacking the stalkers dead. So I think this other I think this, this artifact truck will also end up going down here because Nova is busy random auto attacking the zealots and now she has dropped her Spec Ops Ghosts, and these ghosts are going to start... They're seriously just auto-attacking the gateway. There's a zealot over there. The zealot over there, get the zealot, get the zealot! Okay, never mind. Oh, push Nova forward! Yeah, yeah, there we go. The load now for being pushed forward, and actually going to deal with that one zealot here. And the rest of the death fleet now also come in to help the ally, and now the first objective has been cleared out. So these guys are going to be getting out of the way here, and Nova and the ghosts as well out of the way, and they are ready to go. What do we have in production here for Nova? So we have Nova's, Nova's picked up the triple tap, and she's gone for the ghost visor. So she has her detection, and she has her triple tap upgrade, and... Now, what is up next? What is the plan for Nova? Nothing else is being produced. We have level 1 attack upgrades coming up, but ghosts are not the... Ghosts are not the units that benefit a lot from the attack upgrades. They have a very small... They have a very low attack speed. And you probably want to have some other units added to the mix here. And that's another attack we want to know side. But Nova, doing her own thing, just gotta go and clear out this enemy camp here, which she has done with a very nice sabotage joint, if I might add. And... What is she going to do now? Where is she going? So this is not the spot. Oh, okay, now, now Nova has realized that they're going in the wrong direction, so they are going to be moving back, and they have to go and deal with the next objective area here. The bonus now has been activated, and Nova is going to be moving in with a bunch of ghosts, and two ghosts at the moment. And where is Nova going to go? Take your bets as to where Nova is going to go. Alarak is going to be pushing through with his death fleet and they will end up clearing this out. Nova has decided that this forge needs to go down because she does not allow forgeries of stuff. So she has taken out the forge there and now Nova is going to be pushing 
Up, there is a an observer that is detecting these ghosts, but Nova is having none of them. The detection is unacceptable for Nova, and her truck is also with her right now, and she's going to be pushing up towards this enemy camp here. She has to be a little bit careful. There are some detectors over here, so these ghosts do end up sniping out some of these units, but these zealots now are starting to attack these ghosts, and these ghosts are actually on the front line and tanking for Nova for some reason. And they have taken so much damage from that one photon cannon. So this ghost is sitting at 26 HP right now. And Nova is using a sabotage drone to deal with these two photon cannons, but there's I think there's I think there's another one as well on the back line there. So there's. Four maybe photon cannons around in this enemy camp, so no, again, have to be careful and she'll have to use the rest of her sabotage drones carefully. She's gone for her Caduceus reactor upgrade, which increases her health regeneration, I believe. There's one random disruptor here. This disruptor is just gonna start attacking this, and one of these ghosts instantly go down, and now this hybrid ends up killing off the other ghosts as well. Nova is now ghostless, and she will have to replenish her army, and her artifact truck is actually getting focused down by a harass wave that has spawned, and her artifact truck goes down as well. Ghosts do end up dropping here, so she's spawned another bunch of ghosts, and these ghosts will snipe. Nope, they're not even gonna bother sniping. They're just gonna leave those zealots over here, they're gonna go and help Nova, and where is Nova right now? Nova apparently also ended up dying somehow from something. I was not paying attention to that, but apparently Nova ended up dying. And is he going to respawn Nova quickly or no? The stalkers are actually the stalkers and zealots are damaging these structures, so Nova will have to be careful if she's not engaging these attack weights. What can sometimes happen is if these structures when they're burning down, they will lose their production. Nova has to be a little bit careful over there. Units wise, yeah, there's only two ghosts and twenty-two SCVs. Still no expansion here for Nova and no what is what is Nova like looking at right now? I'm not really sure. Nova's just looking at... Oh, Nova is tactically trying to decide how she's gonna go and engage into this enemy base because this enemy base is very, very fortified. Looking back and forth, making sure everything is okay. What are they looking at? Okay, there. Yeah, there we go. Everything seems okay. So yeah, they're gonna go and take this out. They want the bonus objective. They really want that bonus objective. And now they're gonna start pushing in as well again. Again, they have to be a little bit careful. This construct is a detector, and if there's an observer there, these disruptors will fire their purification novas on these ghosts here. And there's another hybrid as well. These ghosts are just auto attacking right now. Nova has not switched mode. She has an assault mode, which will have to clear this all out. And her artifact drop goes down once again. And now, where is what is Nova going to do? Yeah, they just she's basically just auto attacking and a bit of damage to this hybrid and harassing this random disruptor. But it's only a matter of time before Amon sends in some detectors oh, to try this. and provide some detection for these ghosts, and these things might actually end up dying as well. Some random roaches are harassing Alarak's base. Alarak has to move his army back to deal with that. And actually, I'm not, I'm not sure why he moved his army back. He does have the overcharge array, and then he's going to be charging in and trying to take out the structure. But first. Nova wants to deal with this Nexus. Oh, changes her mind. Wants to wants to deal with the construct instead, and we're we'll trying to get these disruptors in. Yeah, there you go. So they are within range of this detector now, and these ghosts are going to be taking a little bit of damage as well. But they finally end up clearing out all the enemy defenders in that bonus objective area, and now these ghosts are going to start auto attacking this construct dead. And again, no expansion here for Nova. This is actually fascinating. There's no expansion, and Nova is just going for. Attack and armor upgrades, I believe. I pressed the wrong button there, I button budged. But yeah, we have attack upgrades and we also have level 1 armor upgrades, but that is pretty much it. And those now ghosts are going to be take, trying to take out this Nexus as well. We have a factory and nothing else, like no, no starport and no units coming out. Yeah, we have four, we have four ghosts and one Nova over here. And Nova has left the truck. Alarak, by the way, has cleared this entire area, so Nova has to go and deal with this before the before the timer runs out. So she has one minute and thirty seconds left on the timer, and Alarak is just basically hanging around now, unable to do anything because this mission is very fun and interactive. And Nova will send her truck right through this area, which Alarak has. I don't know whether Alarak cleared this out by accident or very intentionally. Because he was aware that his ally would just move his truck right through, but that is proactive thinking from Alarak. And Alarak is now ready to start pushing into this next area. Nova's gonna be moving her ghosts over. She has an army right now of four ghosts and one Nova. And what do we have in production yet? We have attack upgrades coming up, but again, like I said, these ghosts do not really benefit very much from attack upgrades. And 
is Nova going to go now? So Alrax's truck is already in position, so he'll be able to start pushing this next objective area while Nova goes and does her own thing, I'm assuming. And yeah, so they go start pushing here. Nova is going to be now starting to attack as well. Like, I think no abilities have been used by Nova as well on here. Yeah, we just have the the thing that these ghosts. The thing that makes these ghosts really good is they're very good against dealing with hybrids and stuff because they have the ability to snipe. But because most of the enemy units in on this map are mechanical units. Nova's ghosts don't snipe those objectives, so those units, so she has to auto attack those things dead or use Nova's own abilities. And these ghosts are not very ideal with that. And Nova's just gonna start charging in right now. And you can see just a, a huge number of stalkers on the front line. What is Nova going to do here? So Nova's gonna be using an airstrike, I think. Yeah, so she uses an airstrike, but she's charged all her ghosts right into the middle. And there was detection over there. And that is pretty much the end of how many she's lost four ghosts so far and now she's back down to two ghosts so it's gonna be a while before she's gonna get, be able to get the rest of her stuff out now and yeah so we have the truck moving in as well so this will take out a photon cannon so that should get rid of the detector and now Nova's base is getting harassed a little bit over here by another set of harass waves that is ending up getting cleared out as well. And now these ghosts are just going to start auto attacking. But they have to be very careful. There is a construct over there. And this construct will provide detection for, for Amon's use. And they could start attacking these ghosts and just kill these ghosts so, so fast. But no one's just auto attacking these things dead. No no use of Nova's snipe, which is really, really important. Now that ghost is wandering a little bit too close. And we'll get focus fired down. And that one ghost as well. Uh, that ghost actually does end up surviving. But that one is already dead. And... All that is left is this one random ghost here, and now there's an attack wave that has spawned, and it is going to start harassing Nova's, Nova's main. And Nova does not seem to be interested, like the player cam, so she's not even paying attention to this, to her base getting wiped. So, her wave, her base is, is, is in the process of getting completely destroyed. Still no expansion, by the way, on for Nova, so you can see there, there's no big red dot. And now Nova is going to... Okay, that Immortal is dealing some damage to the truck, the Immortal will now end up dying, and Nova has actually completed the bonus objective. Again, she has still not realized that the... She still not realized that the... Expand, that the main is gone. The main is completely gone. Just, just looking at these ghosts, just slowly auto-attacking this construct dead. And Alarak has actually moved back right now. Let me have a look here. So pretty much nothing is left here. Some of the SCVs are trying to repair these doors, which is actually somewhat convenient. And yeah, this one SCV. This is the really cool thing. I was not aware that the automated refineries need an ex need at least Our one base to attack. build. Like all these refineries have actually stopped collecting gas because Nova has no primary structure on the map. I was not aware that this was a thing. So that's actually kind of cool. It was, like apparently it doesn't really matter if you have you need at least one command center to start mining. What are these Upgrade. SCVs doing Complete. right now? Okay, these SCVs are going to be moving here to try and repair and rebuild the oh, fallen oh, barracks for Nova, which is okay. I'm not sure why these guys were all moved back, but okay, fine. But Nova has done the bonus objective. Now she will be able to clear the final and Alarak has a huge number of destroyers already. He's sitting at 42 destroyers. He's pretty much supply cap right now, so he's pretty much okay. And then this one Zealot goes to try and attack this truck and decides to change his mind and move out of the way. And where is Nova right now? Okay, so Nova has an army okay. of one ghost, because she lost that other ghost in that little skirmish with the bonus objective. And yeah, well, we have level 2 attack and armor upgrades as well. Did Nova get the vehicle upgrades? Nova got the vehicle upgrades. Nova doesn't have any vehicles in her army. She's dropped two more ghosts down and she's got on the... I don't understand what's going on. She's got on the building armor upgrade as well. I guess this is because she lost the structure. Went for that, I think. What is also interesting is that Nova has not gone for the EMP upgrade. And EMP is really good when you're dealing with hybrid dominators, especially the one that's parked over here. This is a Protoss. This is a Protoss composition as well. The EMP allows you to take off shields, so it will. Maybe, like, of all the times you probably want to get EMP, this is this is the time to get it. And Nova has not done that. What is Nova going to do? Alarak has to go and deal with the attack wave because clearly Nova is not going to do that. And oh, Nova is actually going to go move back. 
Is she gonna move back? But this attack is gonna be dead before like anything happens, before Noah gets into position. So she changed her mind and now she's gonna start pushing into her base into this final Ruta space again. She has to be a little bit careful. But yeah, this is this is where like Noah's snipes come really, really nicely. So planning this out. There is a Gryphon airstrike. And that was actually a pretty solid airstrike. It just cleared all the front line, but again, you have to be careful. As soon as there's a detector, bad stuff is gonna happen like that. There is a photon cannon, and that Reaver is just slowly attacking the stuff there. And now Nova is actually finding herself in between two harass waves. And these harass waves are just gonna spot Nova instantly. Snipes go down, which is really nice. But unfortunately, one of these ghosts, two of these ghosts, do end up dying to that. So there's just there's no way for Nova to be able to handle with all of that with just her snipes. And Nova has actually lost 7 ghosts right now, and he's down to 1 ghost in total, and now Alrak is in position. And I wonder, uh, where is this 1 ghost? Is this 1 ghost going to survive? Is this guy going to be the little ghost that could? So Alrak now is using his empowerment, and he's going to be able to steamroll through this entire base. He has a full army of mothership plus destroyers and these things. Just one destruction wave is going to delete pretty much everything that is there. And where is this one random ghost? Is this ghost gonna die to the final attack wave? No. There are two more ghosts that we get dropped for Nova. So again, like I said, snipes go down, that is really useful, but these snipes are on cooldown, so it's gonna be a while before that is gonna happen. And this artifact truck is taking a little bit too much damage, and these ghosts actually have ignored the artifact truck. Okay, there we go. Artifact truck is gonna try and get into position. But finally, Alrak has cleared this entire base, and the artifact truck is now in position, and this is all the objective areas cleared for Nova using an army of ghosts, she's lost 7 ghosts, and only a ghost has she built, and that is GG.